So, here goes. <laughs> Good morning fellow mathematicians, welcome back to another video. This right here might seem absolutely random, but we have to talk about it for my Christmas special and I'm going to promise you it's going to be something really big and absolute long dong with a lot of cool people in there. I hope you're excited for the Christmas special. Make sure to watch it, activate your bell button my boys. So we want to talk a bit about the Laplace transform of t times f of t. So here it goes. <laughs> Let's take a look at the pure definition of the Laplace transform of t times f of t. That's basically just the integral from 0 to infinity of t times f of t e to the negative st dt. Okay, but what can we do with this? Uh, we don't really want to find it, we want to play around with this expression a little bit to find a new expression for f of t basically. Okay, so I want you guys to notice that this thing right here basically looks, this integrand, like we would have differentiated e to the negative st with respect to s. So let's take a look at that. So let's just take a look at the Laplace transform of f of t. Because this is something similar, we can work with. So the Laplace transform of f of t is basically nothing but the integral from 0 to infinity of f of t e to the negative st dt. And whenever this Laplace transform exists under certain conditions, we know that this right here is going to admit to kind of an antiderivative f with respect to s because this is going to be a function in the yeah in another domain okay coolio but like i said this right here looks like we had differentiated with respect to s right here so why not do this so we know that d ds of f of s is now nothing but well the differential of this whole thing but we are going to take the special case of the Leibniz rule to bring this di differential to the inside and take the partial derivative of this thing with respect to s. So integral 0 to infinity of yeah let's bring f of t to the front and then del s there was an ugly looking del e to the negative st dt and while differentiating this is really quite easy so we are going to end up with bringing the negative to the outside using the linearity of the integral 0 to infinity of f of t times t e to the negative st integrated with respect to t and et voila this is nothing but this right here but with a negative sign basically so this is negative laplace transform of t f of t and well now we have ways to take the inverse laplace transform on both sides if it's bijective on a certain domain interval and then we have a new expression for our f of t kind of so why not um, multiply both sides by negative one so this becomes positive that's negative right now and now just use the inverse Laplace transform on both sides so we end up with t f of t being equal to the inverse Laplace transform of negative d ds f of s and you see the inverse Laplace transform is linear it is defined with respect to an integral so we can bring this negative sign to the outside and now why not divide both sides by t it's not going to be equal to zero we don't want time of zero right now so that's equivalent to saying we have an expression for our f of t with respect to some kind of inverse Laplace transform so negative one over t in the inverse Laplace transform of d ds f of s and this does the trick so this is what we wanted to find out we needed later in the game but yeah we have played around with the original expression Laplace transform of t f of t and we have found a new expression for our f of t and whenever the Laplace transform exists so this f of s and whenever the Laplace transform is bijective on a certain interval we can take the inverse Laplace transform well we can express every f of t like this right here I hope this does help a bit hope you did enjoy this video and well up until the next video have a flammable day I guess don't forget to share those videos everywhere blah 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 love you guys appreciate you have a nice day see ya